When buildings collapse in an earthquake, it's usually not the shaking itself that causes the damage, but the powerful waves of energy that travel through the earth during an earthquake that can wreak havoc on structures. These seismic waves come in different types, including primary, secondary and surface waves. They travel at different speeds and in different directions, causing different types of damage to buildings. The most dangerous type of wave is the surface wave, which can cause the ground to roll like a drum, creating a devastating impact on structures. This can cause buildings to sway back and forth until they collapse, and when they do collapse, it's often not the strong ground motions that bring them down, but the sudden shift in soil beneath them. But buildings are designed to withstand these forces, or at least they should be. Engineers use special techniques to ensure that structures are built to co- and can resist the powerful waves that come crashing down during an earthquake. They use reinforced concrete and steel structures to prevent them from collapsing. Despite all this, it's still important to prepare for an earthquake and have a plan in place for when one strikes. Because despite the best efforts of engineers, sometimes buildings do collapse and we need to be ready.